Peace and blessings, Israel. Yes, I am calling you Israel. I am also calling you Hebrew because that is your name. There is one among us who has a very large platform, and it is a female. And she put out a video recently stating that our name is not Hebrew, that it is not Israelites. And that information and that move did not come from the Most High God. Okay. First of all, if you want to know the first time Hebrew was mentioned, it was mentioned in the Bible and the sea. For you can look in Genesis chapter 14, verse 13. And I will read that particular passage. And there came one that had escaped and told Abraham. The Hebrew. If you want to go into the Sefer and uh, uh, hear the pronunciation, we can go into it was every, every, okay? But one of the things we have to recognize and understand, brothers and sisters, is that our names, our language was taken from us. We are dealing with translations, transliterations. And so when we say these names, we cannot hold one another to such a standard that we create, create confusion, separation, and division. Okay, we don't even speak the original English that uh, the King James Version had with the thee thou thoughts. We know that the, the, the language has changed its formation, whether we talk about the translation in the Greek or the Latin or the German or the English, English being a part of a Germanic language. When you say Hebrew, the sister said that that is something that the Jews, the European Jews uh, called themselves. That is not true. That did not come from the Most High God. That term was used to uh, to give recognition to Abraham, Father Abraham. In the book of Genesis, chapter 14, verse 13, whether you look in your King James Version Bible, whether you look in the Sefer, which is the Bible, when you see the term Ivre, and we are not going to hold one another to such a standard that if you don't call it by the ancient term, the term of our language that was stolen from us, okay, that we're going to tell you that you're saying it wrong. We are all learning. I am learning. You are learning. This was put on my spirit by the Most High God. I knew when I heard the woman say it that it was not of God. It was very divisive. And some people try to elevate themselves. Uh, their intention may be good, but these statements are made without the sanctioning of God. The other statement was about being called Israelites. Israelites. Okay. We know that Jacob was called Israel, all right, in um, 1 Samuel. Let me get it right because I don't want to misstate anything, all right? He's in 1 Samuel uh, chapter 32. 1 Samuel chapter 32 speaks of it. Um, wait a minute. I got to go back to 1 Samuel because this is on my heart powerful. This is on my heart powerful. I am a seer and a prophetess of God. I couldn't sleep. The spirit woke me up. Uh, it's so strong. I was supposed to go out somewhere and I can't. It's It's got to be told because there are brothers and sisters who are struggling with this. I'm sorry. I, I called the wrong book. Um, it's in. I'm sorry. It's in the book of Genesis. Uh chapter 32 verse 28 we're going to go to it chapter 22 verse 28 all right and i'm turning to it as i'm speaking because like i say it's strong in me it's, it's, it's intense um let me get, turn the page because it it, it it touched something hard inside my spirit um and First in Genesis chapter 32, verse 28, and thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. In the sea first, Yasharel, Yasharel, okay. 
And when they say Israel light, ait, ait, when you hear Israel light, ait, ait means a descendant of the people of. So when you say Hebrew Israelite, Abraham was first called a Hebrew, Ivre, okay? And yes, if you don't pronounce the old ancient terms, God is not holding you to a standard. We are waking up. We are coming into this truth. We are coming into this knowledge. Our name was, we were he Hebrews. We are Hebrews because we are the descendants of uh, Abraham. We are also from the 12 tribes of Jacob, also called Yasharel in the Sefer, uh, Genesis chapter 22, verse 28. I'm sorry, Genesis chapter 32, verse 28. He is called Israel and the King James Version of the Bible. All right. And when you say Israel like the ite, the ite on the end of Yasharel, on the end of Israel, anytime you hear the ite, it means the descendants of the people of do not be misled, brothers and sisters. There are many people among us, male and female, who have uh, taken a mantle unto themselves that the Spirit of the Most High God did not give them. He did not give them. You cannot dub yourself a prophetess or a prophet when God did not call you. Many of us who have the calling or, or are touched by God, the spirit weighs so heavy that this this move is not about an individual. It's not about a personal acclaim. It's not about winning people over for self. Everything comes from God, the most high God. And how do you know? How do you check it? You check it against his word. You check it against the word of God. Were we called by our tribal names? Yes, we were. But collectively, we are the house of Israel, the Israelites. What is it? It is a descendant, the people. So if you want to call yourself a Hebrew, it is in the word of God. If you call yourself from the house of Israel or Yasharel, and if you don't pronounce it according to somebody else's terminology, the first thing we cannot do is harm one another. We cannot deter one another, make one another feel scattered. When you try to take away our name, that is something that the Europeans, the slaveholders did to us. They stripped us. Our name is Hebrew Israelite. If you want to say Ivre, Yasharelite, you can say that too. But that's our name. It came from the Most High. That's our name. As a matter of fact, when Jacob got the name, it was an angel of the Most High Lord that gave it to him. All right. No man gave it. Therefore, no man, no woman, through some intellectual determination, can take it away. This word came from the most high. Even as I spoke it when I was trying to, to turn on my computer, the spirit weighed on me so heavy because it is a divisive statement. A lot of people can end up confused, okay? It's just like if you are talking about God, okay? Some people may call God Yah. Some people call God El. Some people call God Elohim. Some people call the Father, Father. Some people say God. But if you are talking about the Most High God, the Creator of all that is, was, and shall ever be, I will not send you away based on semantics and leave you confused because God knows your heart. He knows the spirit under which you speak. And let me say, this comes from his seer. This comes from his prophetess. Your name is Israel Yasharel. For those who want to get technical, that's in the Sefer. And if I don't know everything, that's all right. That's all right. Because my father said, for now we prophesy in part and we know in part. Okay. But when he who is perfect comes, then that which is in part shall be done away. This comes from the word of the most high. Not from my opinion, not from my feeling, not because I feel as though I have won a lot of followers or subscribers. I'm speaking from the most 
high. Let God make a distinction between those who try to mislead you and those who are sanctioned by God. Hebrew Israelites, ites again being a people of, you are the people, the descendants of Israel. If it's technical for those who don't think as though we're calling it right and try to make you feel bad, then we'll call you Yasharelites. But personally, no matter what you say, if you say Hebrew Israelite, that did not begin with any European. No, it did not. The woman is speaking out of turn. That did not come from the spirit of the Most High God. It is in his word. Again, if you want to read where Hebrew and in the Sefer, they call it Ivre. We're talking about translations and transliterations. Okay. And to teach a person in such a harsh way as to actually create division, that did not come from God. God is a God of order. He is a God of peace. He is not a God of confusion. And this comes because, again, we are brothers and sisters in the Lord. And anybody that does any harm to the body, be it by ignorance or by intent, when you hurt the body, the head automatically takes notice and the head of the body is Christ and the one over Christ is the most high God do not touch mine anointed do my prophet no harm all right so you be encouraged Hebrew Israelites you be encouraged that was not a European term that was not a European term if you want to call it Hebrew 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 Whatever bread you want to call it, we're talking about Israel, okay? If one of you says mommy and another one says mama, if and maybe in another language you call her nana, if you're talking about mom, you will not be disregarded. It's the same way you are a Hebrew. The first one to be called a Hebrew was Father Abraham. And yes, as he is mentioned in the Bible, but I know our ultimate father is God, the most living high God, the most high God. Okay, this is from his word, not my word. My word doesn't mean anything, but the word of my father, our father, the most high, the creator of all that is, was, and shall ever be. It's in his Bible. Okay, whether you're reading the Sefer or the King James Version, you go to chapter for to Genesis chapter 14 verse 13 that is where Abraham was first called a Hebrew or Ivre in the Sefer it was not a European so I don't know why this woman took this platform and made that statement but God has his seers God has his seers God has his prophets and God has his prophetesses we are watchers on the wall Okay, the lioness is prowling. Do not harm the whelps. And be encouraged, brothers and sisters. Stay in your walk. Keep moving forward. This is the reason why God says, Servants, shut study and show thyself approved. Rightfully dividing the word of God. Okay, you need to study because people will tell you things out of their mind. It did not come sanctioned by the spirit of the most high God. It did not come sanctioned by the spirit when you want to go and read about uh israel when yakov got his name it is in genesis chapter 32 verse 28 you will also read about the people of israel and the people of Israel, when they say that, the reason why you get the word ites, it, it means descendant or people of, family of, okay? That's where the ites comes from. So when you call yourself an Israelite, you are the people of Israel. You are a descendant, okay? Hebrew Israelite, all right? You be blessed. You be encouraged. I had to pour out. That way gets on me, the spirit. Because there's a lot of information being disseminated that is wrong. And if they can't back it up with the word of God, don't believe them. I don't care who they are. It could be me. If I can't back it up with scripture, then you call to account. Okay? This sister, because she's got such a large following, makes this statement. And she is wrong. 
she is wrong. And when you speak the word that did not come from God, this that I speak is sanctioned by the most high living God. Hear, O Israel, thy name I first called Abraham Hebrew. It is written of. In the book of Genesis, chapter 14, verse 13, Jacob, his name was changed to Israel. And the Sefer is called Yasharel. Okay, everybody does not have the Sefer. God also knows what has happened to us. He understands that. All right? And when you look for where Jacob's name was changed, you go to Genesis, chapter 32, verse 28. And you read throughout Genesis. Read throughout Genesis and you will see that the people of Jacob were also not only called by their tribal names, they were collectively called Israelites. When it says Israel, the people of Israel, that's the same as saying Israelites. Okay, so you are not misspeaking when you call yourself a Hebrew Israelite. And if you don't speak the perfect ancient Hebrew language or Greek or Latin or Old English, I'm absolute that God understands it because he knows what has happened to us. You be encouraged. Hebrew Israelites. And we grow and we get stronger in this walk. Okay, be blessed. My spirit is at peace and let God be true and all men be liars. Let his spirit reign in your life. You are loved. You are loved. This message is based on love because God is not the author of confusion, but peace. Be at peace. Shalom, Israel.